Hey guys, it is Cinquanta Cocksmith of www.cinquantacocksmith.com and today I am here to show you guys how to create an email signature in Canva. So I know sometimes you send emails and you see people with these nice email signatures. I want to teach you how to do an email signature two ways. So the first way we're going to use a email header and then the next way we are going to just use a custom dimension. So this is Canva. Oh, I forgot to say, smell for me. This is Canva. Um, if you have a free account, you can do this. You can use this. So I'm going to just put an email and I'm going to type an email header. Okay. So then you're going to find the email header. You can choose um, a designed one already, but we are going to start from scratch. Okay. So then I'm going to go back to home and then I'm going to create a design. And I'm going to put in the custom dimensions of 400 by 200. So again, the custom dimensions are 400 by 200. And you can do that in pixels. Okay. So now you have your two Canva templates. The first one came from an email header, the second one from a custom dimension. All right, so the first one we are going to do will have our picture on there, okay? So we want to go ahead and do our picture. So I'm going to go over to Elements. And I am going to see, I'm going to find a circle. Put that here. Put that in the middle. Now I'm going to change the background color to my brand color. And then I'm going to go back to elements and I'm going to find a circle grid. A frame, I think it says frame. Use that word. Circle frame. Then I'm going to make that a little bit smaller and put that right over here inside my circle. And then I'm going to go to my uploads and look for a picture. All right, so I'm in my uploads and I'm going to find a picture. I'm going to use this one. And I'm going to drag that picture, drop it in there. Do I need to fix it? Move it over, make it bigger. Okay. And most people, when they have a Canva account, they already have like their brand um, fonts. And that would be like here. So um, I'm going to use this cursive today. So that's one of my brand cursive. So there's my name. I'll put that there. Then I'm going to use the next font in my brand. And I am going to, you can either write your title here. So I call myself a money strategist. And I'll put author slash podcaster. Put all those things. Want to make it a tad bit smaller. And let's see. Let's make that a dark purple. Okay. Then I'm going to hit click that and. Get another one out here that has my business name. So let's try to get down to that 15.4. And we're going to move that and line it up. 
Okay, and then I am going to do another one and I'm going to put my website. And I'm going to make sure I do the same font size, the 15.4. All right, so trying to make sure this lines up nicely. So sometimes you may have to play with it a little bit. All right, and then from here, you can add your email. We're going to go to elements. I feel like I'm going to do this up here a little bit. Go to elements and we are going to, well, first let's go get the website one, the little website icon. And then we can move this over. And let's make sure we grab one that you can change the color to. Obviously not that one. Okay, you can change the color to that one. And we're going to go with the dark purple. Just going to make that small, make that about 19. Put that there. I'm going to move this over just a little bit. And then I'm going to put the website icon right here. All right, and then you go over to this box and you look for email. So I'm gonna look for an icon that says email. And this is fun. They have some animation ones. Um, they have some ones with like little files in there. But let's, I'm just gonna pretty much keep it simple. Make sure I can change the color on it. I'm gonna change it to that dark purple. Then I'm going to move that down to size 19 again. Pull that down here. Then I am going to go back to my and put my name, well, my email address. And let's change that size back to 15. Well, was it 15? Yeah, if it was like 15.4. All right, and we can move that over. So now we have our email signature. Here you have your, you have your email, you have your website, your business name, your title, your picture. And that's just one way to do it. So um, I'm going to also show you guys how to create your icons. So we're going to do for icons, we're going to do 50, 50 by 50. And this is the way that we're going to add the icons for the one here with the picture. And then we're going to do the other one without a picture with the icons already on it. And this is for you to be able to make clickable icons inside of your email signature. And in the second video, I'll be teaching you how to upload your email signature that you made in Canva up on GoDaddy, well, on Microsoft Outlook and on Gmail, okay? So let's go back to our elements. This is the icons, right? These are social media icons. So I'm gonna put in social media icons. And then we're going to find our shapes. I like the one with the rounded corner. I'm going to open that up in here. Let's make sure it's even. And then I'm going to change the color for that one. And then here in our elements, we are going to search for Facebook. So I got the Facebook icon and I am going to change that to a I could be that purple or I can do the dark one. I'm going to open that up a little bit. And then I'm going to 
copy that page and then I'm going to do Instagram. Okay, so here's the Instagram icon. I'm going to change that color. Make that a little bit bigger. So these are the main two that I use. So I'm just going to do that. And then you would save that as a PNG, but don't do the background. You can save it each by itself, or you can save it to where it's an um it comes in a file and it's extracted. So I'm just going to show you guys how to extract that right there. You just hit extract file and it goes right to your downloads okay so that's that social icons are done I'm gonna go back to our email signature and I am going to download this as a PNG let me put what it is um, email signature okay so I'm gonna download that one as a PNG, not with a transparent background. You can do it that way. It's up to you, either one. And then I'm going to show you how to create a second email signature without a picture. So we are going to use title here. So we're going to write my name will be the first thing. I'm going to make that smaller. Spread that out. Okay. So have my name. Um and then I am going to do my title. Okay, make sure everything looks good. Gonna do, let's do just 15. Let's, well, let's do 16, 16. And I am going to change the color on that one. Okay. And then I am going to go and get a rectangle. It's fine. Shapes. I would use the square, but we're going to change it into what will look like a rectangle. Okay. And let me get that. I'm probably going to make that smaller. Change the color on this. I'm going to go get my font. And I am going to put my business name in there. And change the size of that. Okay, and then we are going to go look for our icons. So since we already have Facebook and Instagram there, we can do that. I'm gonna make them black this time. Facebook, Let's see what size is that? Nine by 19. Let's see if we can get Instagram nine by 19 too. Probably not. Or maybe it was both 19, it just didn't look like that. And then we're going to get our text, our cursor. And then I'm just going to do at, well, let me delete all that. You want to do at Sinquanticox Smash. I'm going to make it smaller. Okay. 
I'll move that over. And this looks so big, so I'm going to make that smaller. It's like a little mini business card here. So then that would be your other email signature that you created with no picture. Just has your title, your business name, and your social media. So that's the second one. So we have a second email signature, okay? And I'm going to download that as a PNG. So make sure you are watching, subscribed to my channel so you can make sure you see part two of this video where I teach you how to upload the signature we just made in Canva onto your Outlook and into Google. Most people have Google and most people who have domain names, um, especially if you have them with GoDaddy, you have the option to have a .com domain name or with any email provider services, you should be able to create a signature and upload the signature into your, um, into your email stationary situation, whatever it may be. But uh, that is the video today. I just taught you guys how to create an email signature two ways in Canva. Next video, we'll be uploading it on Google and on Outlook. So make sure you subscribe, like, and comment on this video. Make sure you hit the notification bell to be notified every time I release a new video. And after the next video, we'll get back to our how to start a print on demand series. But I just wanted to break up some videos and give you guys a break to catch up on some of the information you have been learning and throw in some other things that I enjoy creating. So until next time, make sure you are checking out my courses on gumroad.com backslash and quanta smith. Make sure you book a call, candidly.com backslash authors and quanta. And if you want to hear all things books, business, and bullshit, subscribe to the podcast at Coins and Connections that's available on all open podcast formats. Again, like I said, until next time, I love you more than I love this video. Peace.